Hi, and welcome back to yet another video. We are continuing with the EX01 questions, and today brings us the first word. Write a program that takes a string and displays its first word, followed by a new line. All right, simple enough. And this is the part you have to pay attention to. A word is a section of string delimited by spaces slash tabs. Read that, spaces or tabs. Or by the start end of a string. Start, end, null terminator. If the number of parameters is not one, or if there are no words, simply display a new line. All right, so those are the instructions out of the way. Then here it gives you some examples. Now, I've always uh, preached that if your program uh, returns the same things that this is doing, then you're pretty, pretty solid with it. And keep in mind, it says write a program. So we are going to include the main. And I've already done that, we need to use some kind of write function. As shown up here, we are allowed to use write. So we have to include the uni STD. And I've just gone ahead and declared the main right away. So what we are going to do is, first off, let's say if the number of parameters is not one or if there are no words, simply display a new line. So we can take care of this by right away saying if AC equals two is the same as two. Now, if you'll remember, AC being one, one is just the uh, one is just the name of the program. So there's always going to be one um, argument count. So if we have two argument counts, there is going to be the name of the program plus a string. So let's see here. All right. So now we've got that out of the way. Now let's do the next easiest step if the number of parameters is not one. So if we are in, if we've passed this test, then we are in the program, then an argument is given. But if no argument is given, well, we're just going to write a new line. Simple as that, All right? So we can right away already just come down here and get this out of the way. See no actual where, and let's call this first just to make it quickly. And it's needing, it's needing first word. Let's see. I use primary AV. Well, of course, we haven't done anything with it yet. All right. So if AC equals two, all right. Now we need to go up to this part. A word is a section of a string delimited by spaces or tabs. Okay. So now we'll look at some of the examples. All right, this is in the beginning, so that's okay. Four is in the beginning, that's okay. But here's we got it. We have emptiness, so there's nothing there. But down here, there's a bunch of spaces or tabs between the start of the string and the word lorem. So we need to get through those. So what we should do is we should consider, let's see, there's two ways you can do this. I'm just gonna use pointer notation, so while, and we should say while um, while av1 because we want to make sure that all right it's a valid string so while av1 and then we're going to say uh, av1 is not equal to tab or Watch it beeping at me. Or AV1 is, I'm sorry, this should be that we have to go through and check if it's a space or tab. So we want this to be if it's a tab or if it's a space. What are we gonna do with that? Well, then we are going to AV1 plus plus. We are going to Iterate over any dead space. So let's just make sure AV1, while it's valid and it's equal to tab or it's a space. All right, so now we've gone through the spaces or the tabs. Next, while, okay. While AV1, yes, while it's legit. And now we're going to check if AV1 is, we want to print when it's not equal to space or tab. So not equal to tab and 
And I'll come back to this because it's slightly confusing with what I just said. And if you want not equal to space. So if you look at this, while it's while it's valid and, all right, and. So we want to print the character when there's no tabs and when there's no space. If it's not equal to the tab or it's not equal to the space, then we can, now we will write, write one byte, and we are going to write ev1, and then we need to add the iterator there, and it's going to be, I'm sorry, this is the standard output, and then this is the byte. So this should be okay. Incompatible integer pointer conversion passing char void. Oh, I'm sorry. You can just do this. Let's clear it. All right. Now, okay. First, first, let's just test without any parameters. Empty. That's expected. Let's do this too. Cat E. Oops. All right. So we didn't pass any words, so we just got the new line. Now let's try where we don't pass. Last, well, sorry. Last time we passed without any arguments, so of course it was new line. Now let's try it with no words. Empty. All right. That's good. Now let's try with two parameters because it should only be one, A, B, good, that checks out. Now, if I would have just called it first word, I could literally just copy and paste this, but we can just do this. Now let's try a bunch of spaces, lorem, ipsum, sum, sem, whatever, and then a bunch more spaces and close it off. So we should just, we should get lorem ipsum here. Boom, got it. Okay, so I think that is acceptable. What would you say? If you would say yes, that like button needs some love. Be sure to give it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.